hello guys welcome back to the channel i want to show you something before even i say anything else that's what i'm opening right okay i don't know if i know this thing in english what is it called okay if i remember its name along the way i'm sure i'm surely going to tell you but uh, this in my language is called chua guys unfortunately it's not how Okay, unfortunately it has been removed already from the cover, so it might be hard for you to identify it, but okay, there is one here with a cover. I don't know if this looks familiar in any way to you. This is how the cover looks like. I'm really, really forgetting the name in English, but trust me, at any single moment when I remember its name in English, I'm going to just say it, <laughs> even if I was mentioning something else, just to make sure that I don't forget it again. So guys, I'm going to make juice out of this. This is one of our local fruits. I don't know if you guys have it, but um, it is sour. Sour. And actually, it's also eaten like this. Like So you just keep licking it like a sweet in your mouth. But you don't swallow. It has a seed inside, a very hard one, and you don't swallow it. Okay, there's something chasing my chicken. <laughs> so guys, um, but this is going to make talking for me very hard. Excuse me, let me speed this off. So like I told you, this is one of our um, local fruits, guys. And yes, I'm going to make juice out of it. But it has to be soaked. And personally, I prefer to soak it in a bottle in a way that later on I'm going to shake. So let me just soak this in this bottle. Mm -hmm. I have remembered <laughs> it's called tamarind guys I told you at any moment when I remember its name <laughs> I'm just going to shout and mention it so guys this is tamarind yeah please let me know if you know what tamarind is if you have ever seen tamarind <laughs> I'm sorry for just shouting with the name like that like I'm a mad person but it just jumped over my head like boom and I just had to mention it so guys let me know if you have ever seen tamarind anywhere and if you've ever tested it after seeing I mean do you guys make juice out of it do you make it the way I'm going to make let me know in the comment section guys um, it's very healthy first of all it's very very healthy the juice is really nice see this <laughs> but sour so eventually I'm going to add in some sugar because it's really sour you know, I don't want to lose any more weight. <laughs> I'm already small enough. You can see my body. So, I'm not going to lose any more weight. For that reason, I want to add in sugar. I don't know if there's anyone who takes it without sugar. For people, know, for people who take it for like medicinal purposes, they prefer to take it without sugar. But for me, who is just taking because I love it, I'm going to add in sugar and make it taste sweet. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys, as I do this, um, are you subscribed? Hmm? If you're not, why not? Why don't you just subscribe already immediately after this very, very video, guys? Hmm? <laughs> okay, I don't want to make a lot because the thing is, this juice is really sour and... At the end of it, I'm going to dilute. You can see like it's little, but it's going to bring out a lot of juice. So actually, I think this is just enough. Let me first add in some water. If you want to make it thick, it will be too sour that you'll end, end up failing actually to, to drink it. So it has to, it has to look like it's watery, but that is just a good, the good test actually. It makes it really nice like that. When it looks like it's watery, it does not make it very sour. So you add in some sugar to test and woo, you're just in things. <laughs> ah, that reminds me, this right here is a fruit, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to look for one and i also show you what it looks like. I'm very sure most of you don't know this one as well. This very one that I'm sitting under the, the shade. Let me first leave this one here to soak and we go hunt more wild food. This 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 one here is also wild. Though we have it on the compounds. So let's leave this one here. This is another way of making it soak really fast to shake. So let's leave it to soak. Meanwhile, we're going to hunt for this one. Mm. 
come with me so another thing is this fruit okay for us what we always do is we just wait for it when it falls down then we pick yeah because this tree here is very hard for me to climb so i don't like climbing this one <laughs> it's the mango tree that i can climb easily okay this is how it looks like but this is not yet ripe let me look for a ripe one Yeah, we are so guys this is what it looks okay this seems to be beaten i can see something has beaten it so i'm not going to eat it i thought it was a clean one so something has beaten it but this is what it looks like when it's ripe and this is how it looks like when it's raw but by the time it falls down it's actually mature it means you can eat it for as long as it turns black you can just eat and it's really sweet guys in my language it is called oyuelo please let me know if you've ever seen this thing i don't know how to make you identify this maybe with a leaf i don't know but this is just how the leaf also looks like i don't know please let me know if you've ever seen this fruit anywhere in your area there but in my language it's called a yellow like i told you guys so that is just one of the wild fruits that we have and children like it a lot you know like every time everyone in the neighborhood just comes around jumping on the train you know such things you can't even stop them like don't do it don't do it actually there's a good kid who has just jumped down right now before i started making the juice so it's just here for for the whole community to eat you get so guys let's wait for this thing to soak as you can see the color is actually this one is so juicy you can see how it's tiny blackish this is how I fasten it if I want it to soak really fast. And guess what? Actually, while growing up, guys, we used, we used to do this. Like, make the mixture like this. Then, after shaking, we add in that bicarbonate, the magadi. You won't believe it. I know it sounds weird, but that is the truth. You could, we could add in that and then shake like it would, it would be like a competition for the children you get what i'm saying <laughs> so you add in and then make sure it comes out really thick thick and then we go in and steal sugar and add in when they don't know that you've added sugar <laughs> but we would really drink that and okay when you're actually hungry again we're drinking something sour i don't know but at the end of the day we are just enjoying it that was growing up for us guys please tell me something wild that you guys did and you still have memories of growing up because for us that is how we grew up we'd shake this maybe on the way to the well on the way to the garden you'll be shaking it as you go along you know and we are competing you cannot believe it what we would compete for <laughs> crazy <laughs> okay this one is really juicy it won't even take long let me just add in some little water here because i'm going to let me first rinse this I'm going to sieve it just for the seeds to remain back but you can see how dark it is this one is really really juicy and by the way for you to get maximum juice out of it you squeeze off this eh? because at times it soaks and it remains on the seeds but when the when the, the juicy bit has actually soaked so you just rub this a bit there's nothing like excess water here because this thing is really sour like I told you actually let me first be adding in the sugar to dilute then we test
das Test. <laughs> Let me even first put in some little more sugar. But the water is just good. Now let me tell you something. For guys who have power and maybe you have a fridge with you, please, if you do this juice, put it in the fridge. Make it cold. You know how on the streets for us in town, they actually sell these things. They sell this juice, by the way. 1,000 per bottle. Like, a bottle is like half a liter. It's 1,000 Ugandan shillings. So you can imagine. And it's really nice, especially when you've just eaten and you're full and it's a hot afternoon and you're drinking it cold. Woo! Oh, you don't want to know. Please try it. Try it, try it, try it. Let me try this again. Okay, why exactly want you to try this juice? Because I don't know how you're going to know how nice it is if you don't try it. Mm? Please try it. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, this is actually try. <laughs>